Today, we are going to be talking about goblet squats. And whether you use dumbbells, kettlebells, or bands, I'm going to show you how to get the best out of your goblet squats. So what is a goblet squat? Well, basically you're going to be holding your goblet, whether this is a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a band, doesn't matter, but you have your goblet, and then you're going to be doing a shoulder width squat. So you're basically gonna squat down and come back up. It's, it is basically a variation of a front squat. All right, let's go through the form on the goblet squat. You're gonna grab your goblet, whatever weight or band or dumbbell that you have, get a shoulder width stance with your toes slightly outwards, bring your goblet into your chest, and we're gonna be going nice down into a squat here, keeping our elbows into our knees or slightly inside of them, engaging that core, keeping that back in a nice neutral position. I don't want you bending over too much. That's gonna put a lot of stress on the lower back and it's gonna spill your goblet, which is the most important thing. You wanna keep your goblet nice and vertical. And the reason for engaging your core is this weight is going to be putting some stress on your lower back. It's gonna be wanting to pull you forward. So you gotta fight against it to keep that form. And otherwise, it's pretty simple. You're just going down and back up. All right, so this is how you do a goblet squat using a 41 inch loop style band and a clench band handle. So the clench band handle is gonna be your goblet. You're gonna loop the band through your feet just like I got here. And then you loop one half of the band around the base of the handle and then pull it up. And now we're in goblet squat position, shoulder width stance. And that is how you do goblet squats with a 41 inch band. All right guys, so now this is my favorite variation of the resistance band goblet squat. The reason being is that we are gonna put this band directly in the center. We're gonna wrap it around our clench foot plate here, pull it up to the center and then wrap it around the neck of our handle. So now we have a 41 inch band folded in half, which means that the resistance is gonna come on right away. And then also, since it's pulling in the center, it's gonna be away from our legs. And it, when we grab this goblet, it's gonna feel a lot like that dumbbell or kettlebell that we've been using in the other variations. And the strength curve of this, we're gonna have smooth resistance all the way through. And then at the top, we're gonna to have even more resistance during that quad lockout phase where your quads are the strongest. So you're gonna be able to tailor this exercise to get excellent engagement. And it's also gonna be a lot more comfortable and easy to set up. And finally, for those of you more advanced users that want full control over the strength curve, you can use a free weight, whether that's a dumbbell or a kettlebell, and combine it with resistance bands. Especially, it makes it really easy with the foot plate and folding this band in half. And now you're gonna have properties of both bands and weights in this exercise. So at the bottom of the rep, you're gonna have free weight tension as well as band tension. And then as we go up, that band tension is gonna continuously increase. So you get peak resistance at the top. And then on the eccentric portion of the rep, that band is going to accelerate you and give you more to fight against on the way down. So you can basically fully customize this strength curve and give yourself even greater gains. So that is about all the variations that I know about how to do goblet squats. I hope you learned something from this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them in the comments below. And as always, if you need any of the equipment shown in this video, we will link it in the description and pop on over to clenchfitness.com to see everything that we have.